the early bird catches the worm. While Abby Steiner caught more than just worms, she caught victory after victory. And also set her sights on an upcoming Olympics that's as bright as her speed. But don't you wonder which titles propelled Abby Steiner into track and field stardom? And what's the next conquest on her list? Brace yourselves to uncover the electrifying saga of how Abby Steiner shocks the world with this. Steiner, who finished fifth at the 2022 World Championships in Oregon, clocked the season best time of 22.19 seconds to run away from the rest of the field and improved on her previous 2023 best of 22.23 seconds. She left her competition eating dust, and I don't mean metaphorically. The 23-year-old came off the corner behind compatriot Jenna Prandini but powered away down the straightaway to finish with a final 100-meter split of 10.71 seconds, leaving her competitors behind and securing a vital victory in her preparations for the U.S. Championships in two weeks' time. Now, let's talk about her sensational debut season. Picture this! Oops, I mean, let's dive into it. At the 2023 Rod McCravey Memorial on January 14, Abby was on fire. She conquered the women's 400-meter race with a jaw-dropping time of 51.70 seconds. Oh, you better believe she dominated that track. With a powerful start, she rocketed ahead of her competition, leaving them in her dust and securing a victory that will be etched in the record books. She's been racking up the wins left and right. Remember that 100-meter mishap in the Doha Diamond League meeting? Well, she channeled her inner spirit and bounced back like a boss. Three consecutive wins at the 200-meter event this season? She's not just running, she's leaving a trail of champions in her wake. Prior to her triumph in Bermuda, she showcased her dominance in the 200-meter races at the Miramar Invitational in Florida, and the Michael Johnson Invitational in Texas, both held in April. I mean, seriously. Victory seems to be her middle name. In the midst of her winning spree, Steiner couldn't contain her excitement. She gleefully exclaimed, It's exciting, knowing where I am in training. I feel like I am starting to get that rhythm back in my legs. This is when it starts to get kind of fun. She laser-focused on her goal of conquering the upcoming USA Trials. Now you won't believe this stat bomb. She hit the track with a bang in 22.23 seconds this season, scoring her the fourth spot among the fastest American female sprinters. It's like she's saying, hey world, I'm here to show you how it's done. Let's take a trip down memory lane, shall we? Abby Catherine Steiner, born on November 24, 1999, wasn't always the sprinting sensation we know today. Hailing from Dublin, Ohio, she kicked off her journey focusing on soccer. Yep, you heard that right, soccer was her jam. But guess what? It wasn't until the 8th grade that she stumbled upon her true calling, track and field. Fast forward to high school at Dublin Kaufman, she wasn't just a track star, she conquered both soccer and track. Even bouncing back from a torn anterior cruciate ligament, like the champ she is. After that, she snatched up four consecutive state titles in the 200-meter dash and 16 state individual championships. And just when you thought that was impressive, she casually added three more titles in the 100-meter dash. Time to hit the college scene, guys! At the University of Kentucky, Steiner showed off her versatility by juggling both soccer and track as a dual-sport scholarship athlete. After an epic freshman soccer season where she was scoring goals left and right, she pulled off a plot twist. She made the gutsy call to go all-in on track. And just like that, her track career skyrocketed. She herself gives credit to this strategic switch for propelling her track journey to new heights. University records? She's got them. State championships? You bet. But that's not all. She even earned the prestigious title of National Women's Track Athlete of the Year. Following her collegiate career where she earned multiple NCAA titles and numerous All-American honors, she transitioned to the professional realm signing with Puma. Representing her university, she earned gold medals in the women's 4x10-meter and 4x400-meter relays at the World Athletics Championships 2022 in Eugene, Oregon. Yep, she was part of Team USA, and those gold medals were practically singing her name. 
Plus, she also showcased her prowess by reaching the finals of the women's 200-meter event at the same championships. Now let's talk numbers. She's not just racking in medals, she's stacking up the dollars too. Her accomplishments have added up to an impressive net worth of $800,000. State championships, university records, and a golden track legacy, she's the real deal. In February 2023, our Dynamo shattered records at the Milrose Games. She dashed through the 300-meter sprint in 35.54 seconds, setting a new indoor American record. This is also the third fastest time of all time in the world for this distance. Now, summer heat wasn't the only thing rising when Steiner stepped onto the track at Kentucky. She set a new NCAA record, blazing through the 200 meter in 21.80 seconds on her way to clinching the college championship. And that's not all, guys. She's got more records than a DJ spinning hits. Her indoor 200-meter American record of 22.09? Yeah, she owned that too, setting it last year in Texas. Last year, she rocked the track world by landing the 18th spot on the list of all-time best performers in the women's 200-meter category. Did you catch that? She's in the Hall of Fame! In the US Championships, she's blazed through with a super speedy time of 21.77 seconds. Time to talk about a showdown that had us all on the edge of our seats, the US Track and Field Championships. She strutted her stuff in the ultra-competitive 200-meter race. The stage was set, the stakes were high, and the competition was fierce. But sometimes, even the toughest competitors face some difficulties. She gave it her all, but her efforts landed her in a nail-biting fourth place in the final standings. A recorded time of 22.07 seconds showed her speed, but the top of the podium slipped through her fingers. Gabby Thomas, the lightning bolt, snatched the victory, leaving Shakari Richardson and Kayla White to complete the sprinting podium. In an interview with Flow Sports, she said, It was a heck of a ride to the final, and when you're in the big game, anything goes, Steiner said, wearing that smile. This season's been a roller coaster for me, battling some injuries, making the cut was a win, and giving myself some downtime to heal was another victory. Gotta treat this bod right and gear up for the next round. What injuries is she talking about? Well, after finishing fourth in the USA Track and Field Championships, the former Dublin Kaufman star announced that she would be shutting down the rest of her track season to have surgery to remove a bone spur in her left heel. She said it's been an injury she has been running through for at least six months, making her performance and training a bit tricky. As a result, she stared at her availability for the 2023 Diamond League final with a question mark. The surgical procedure involves shaving down the bone and applying a patch to prevent regrowth. In addition to her recent injury, she's been dealing with a tricky thing called Achilles tendinitis for two whole years. Tricky name, right? It's an injury of the Achilles tendon, which connects the calf muscle to the heel bone. It's been making her practice and training sessions a real puzzle to solve. So, what's our sprinting athlete doing about this tough situation? Well, she's not throwing in the towel, that's for sure. She's teaming up with her buddies, her coach, her agent, and her team to figure out the best moves. They're making sure she bounces back better than ever. And guess what? Her eyes are locked on the Olympic Games prize. Go big or go home, right? Man, let me tell you, I'm on the edge of my seat for 2024. She's got her sights set on the big stage, the 2024 Summer Olympics in Paris. Can you believe it? She's gearing up for her debut on the Olympic platform, and we're all on the edge of our seats cheering her on. I mean, think about it, she's been through victories, a twist with that injury, and she still got that fire burning. I can practically feel the anticipation in the air. Paris, better get ready. Who knows, we might just witness her become an Olympic champion. And let me tell you, it's gonna be a showstopper for the ages. So guys, do you think she will become the Olympic champion in 2024? Comment with your guesses down below.